This is the Wii Powder forecast of February the 8th. The Northern Alps got some fresh snow again yesterday. 20 to 50 centimeters of snow fell until yesterday evening. Together with the storm wind during the passage of the cold front, a lot of snow was blown away and the avalanche danger increased substantially. But in a more dense forest on not too steep terrain, it was still enough snow to enjoy some nice powder runs as you can see behind me. With the cold front passage during the night from Sunday to Monday, winds picked up and some serious wind gusts were measured. On the Taubenstein in Bavaria, a wind gust of 233 km an hour was measured during the night. Also in Tyrol, many stations got closer to their all time wind records for February or even broke them, like some villages in the Utstown. The snowfall started Sunday evening and lasted in eastern Austria until yesterday evening. On a large scale, 20 to 40 centimeters of fresh snow came down, locally even up to half a meter, but with the strong winds, this snow is partly blown away in the higher regions. As you can understand, the avalanche danger has increased considerably. More about the avalanche danger will follow in a minute, but first we will have a look at the weather for the upcoming days. Today, just a bit to the north of the Alps, a warm front is passing by, but it won't really reach the Alps. Especially the eastern part of Austria will be influenced by the tail of this warm front and will be partly cloudy here today. In the rest of the Alps, increasing high pressure makes room for the sun and we will keep these sunny conditions until Thursday. With a westerly flow, the Alps will see increasing temperatures. Tomorrow will be the mildest day with temperatures up to 10 degrees at 1500 meters and on the southern side of the Alps, due to foam conditions, maybe even a bit higher. Also higher up, the temperatures will be very high. We can expect temperatures just above zero even at 3000 meters altitude on Wednesday afternoon. With these sunny and mild conditions, it is very tempting to do some steep runs in high alpine terrain. But after last week's horrible avalanche accidents with many fatalities, I want to stress out that the avalanche danger is again very high and will stay high in the next couple of days. Again, parts of the Northern Alps are dealing with avalanche danger 4 at the moment due to the fresh snow and hurricane force winds. But also don't feel safe with a decreasing avalanche danger to level 3 in the next couple of days. Many accidents happened last week also with avalanche danger level 3. It will be still be very tricky. The problems are, the heavy snowfall in combination with the hurricane force winds formed large wind slabs on all faces. And locally we are dealing with an old snow problem, which can be triggered by people as well, even remotely triggered avalanches are possible, so keep enough distance from steep terrain. Also below the tree line, avalanches are still possible. And finally, the temperature will rise in the upcoming days, so the southern face slopes are also prone to slab avalanches because of this. Spontaneous avalanches might happen. All of this information can be found in the avalanche forecast, so please check them out and do it well before you go. If you are for example in Switzerland, check the SLF, if you are in Tyrol, check avalanche.report, where you can also find links to all other inf avalanche information services of the Alps. In the night from Thursday to Friday, the winds change to northwesterlies and cooler air masses will be brought to the Alps. The Northern Alps will get some fresh snow with a cold front, about 10 to 25 centimeters of snow will be possible according to the weather models. I expect between the French Northern Alps and the Voorberg the most fresh snow. And if you have a closer look at the snow forecast, you can see that the Piedmont might also get some snow in the form of a mini retour test. Although this snowfall is still a bit uncertain, I think there's a good chance for 10 to 20 centimeters of snow in Zorsak Prali. During the weekend, high pressure temporarily returns. It will stay mostly calm and dry, but on Monday a new storm is approaching from the west. It is still not sure where this front will give the most snow. The European weather model calculates more for the Southern Alps at the moment, but the scenario of the American model will mainly provide snow for the Northwestern Alps again. Though in short, we got some fresh snow and the conditions are great at the moment in the Northern Alps. However, one side note and an important one. As I said, the avalanche danger is very high at the moment, so be careful. If you are not experienced with these tricky avalanche conditions, just stay on the controlled slopes in the resorts. From today on, the weather will be calm, warm and with lots of sunshine. Especially on Wednesday, we will expect temperatures well above normal. Luckily, this warm phase is just short-lived because on Friday we can already expect some colder air masses from the northwest with some fresh snow for the Northern Alps. And possibly even a small rest on Saturday.